Hey, this is Dave from DIY Domination. Have you ever wanted to learn how to care for bees and maintain beehives? Well, you're in the right place. Beekeeping, an age-old practice carried down generations, is more than just a hobby. It's a commitment to the environment, to agriculture, and to the fascinating world of these little pollinators. The benefits are sweet, literally, with the promise of honey, beeswax, and pollen. Yet it's not without its challenges. Bees are delicate creatures and maintaining a hive requires dedication, patience, and a whole lot of learning. Whether it's understanding the intricate social structure of a bee colony, managing pests and diseases, or simply knowing when and how to harvest honey, every aspect of beekeeping calls for an ongoing commitment to learning. So if you're ready to embark on this buzzing journey, stick around. Now that you understand what beekeeping entails, we can dive into the step-by-step -step guide. By the way, if you like this video and want to see more videos with advice on farming, make sure to click the subscribe button and leave a comment down below saying I subscribed, and we'll do our best to reply to your comment. The first step in beekeeping? Education. You see, bees aren't just any livestock. They're complex creatures with unique behaviors and needs. Understanding their world is the key to successful beekeeping. So what's the best way to gain this knowledge? Well, consider enrolling in a beekeeping course. These courses offer comprehensive insights into the life of bees, their social structure, and the best practices for their care. Now, if you prefer a more self-paced approach, reliable beekeeping books are also a great resource. They provide detailed information about bees and beekeeping, allowing you to learn at your own speed. Remember, beekeeping is not just about maintaining a hive. It's about understanding and respecting the life buzzing within. So, take your time to learn, to understand, to appreciate. With knowledge in hand, you're ready to gather your beekeeping equipment. Equipped with knowledge, you now need the right tools. Let's walk through the essential beekeeping equipment you'll need to get started. First and foremost, protective clothing is crucial. This includes a bee suit, veil, and gloves. These will shield you from potential stings and make you feel more comfortable working around your bees. Next, a smoker is an invaluable tool in beekeeping. It helps calm the bees, making the hive easier to manage and inspect. Hive tools are a beekeeper's best friend, used for prying apart hive components, scraping off excess propolis, and even removing unwanted intruders. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the beehives. These are the homes you'll provide for your bees. Make sure they are of good quality and suitable for the number of hives you plan to manage. With the right equipment, it's time to choose the perfect location for your beehives. Location, location, location. It matters to bees, too. When you're choosing the perfect spot for your beehives, there are a few key factors you need to consider. Firstly, consider the food sources available for your bees. Bees need a wide variety of flowers for nectar and pollen. So a location near a meadow full of wildflowers, a garden, or an orchard would be perfect. If that's not possible, don't fret. Bees can fly up to five miles to find food. But remember, the closer the food source, the more honey they'll produce. Secondly, think about water. Bees need a clean water source nearby, not just for drinking, but also for maintaining the hive's humidity. A pond, a stream, or even a bird bath can work wonderfully. Next, consider the sun. Bees love the morning sun, which encourages them to start their day early. So, a location that gets plenty of morning sunlight, but also has some afternoon shade, is optimal. Now about pesticides. If you can, avoid placing your hives near agricultural areas that use heavy pesticides. These chemicals can be harmful to bees and may contaminate the honey. Once you've picked the perfect spot, it's time to set up your beehives. Make sure they're stable and won't tip over in the wind. Bees prefer their homes slightly elevated, so consider placing your hives on stands or pallets. Ventilation is also vital. Ensure the hives have good airflow to prevent condensation but avoid drafty locations that could chill the bees in winter. And speaking of winter, do consider the direction of the prevailing winds in your area. You'll want to position your hive so they're protected from harsh winter winds. Lastly, kindly provide a water source nearby. A shallow dish filled with water and a few pebbles for the bees to land on will do the trick. Now you have the perfect home for your bees. It's time to introduce them to their new hive. Let's welcome your bees to their new home. The first step is to acquire a package of bees or a nucleus colony from a reputable source. It's crucial to choose a source that ensures the health and quality of their bees. When you have your bees, it's time to introduce them to their new hive. Remember to wear your protective gear during this process for safety. 
unseal the package or nucleus colony, and gently pour the bees into the hive. The bees will instinctively begin to cluster around the queen forming their new colony. It's a fascinating process, like watching a small city being built from scratch. While the bees are settling in, it's crucial to provide them with some food. In the early stages, especially if you start in the spring, feed your bees with sugar syrup to help them establish their hive. You can make this by mixing equal parts of sugar and water, then gently pouring it into a feeder inside the hive. The sugar syrup mimics the nectar that bees usually feed on, providing them with the necessary energy to start building their hive. It's like a housewarming gift for your new buzzing neighbors. In addition to sugar syrup, you can also provide pollen supplements if natural pollen sources are scarce. These supplements ensure your bees get the protein they need for brood rearing. Remember to keep feeding your bees until they can sustain themselves. Once they start bringing in their own pollen and nectar, you can gradually reduce and then stop feeding them. But always keep an eye out. If you notice a shortage of natural food sources, it might be necessary to start feeding them again. You've now successfully introduced your bees to their new home and provided them with their first meals. It's the beginning of a buzzing adventure. Your bees are now settled in. Regular inspections are the next step in ensuring their welfare. Regular inspections keep your bees healthy and your hive thriving. To ensure the well-being of your colony, it's crucial to perform regular inspections, ideally every 7 to 10 days during the active season. When you're conducting an inspection, you're like a detective, looking for clues that tell you about the health and happiness of your bees. You'll want to see plenty of bees busily working away, and you should also spot eggs, larvae, and capped brood. Spotting the queen can be a bit of a challenge, but if you see eggs, you'll know she's been around recently. Inspecting your hive isn't just about looking, though. Use your other senses, too. Listen for a steady, contented hum. Feel for vibrations that suggest your bees are calm and comfortable. Smell for the sweet scent of honey. If anything seems off, it could be a sign that something's not quite right. Now let's talk about pests and diseases. They're an unfortunate part of beekeeping, but with vigilance and prompt action, you can protect your bees. Common pests include varroa mites, hive beetles, and wax moths. Regularly check your hive for signs of these pests, and if you spot them, take action. Varroa mites can be treated with organic methods like dusting with powdered sugar to encourage grooming, or with chemical treatments if the infestation is severe. Hive beetles can be managed with traps, while wax moths can be discouraged by maintaining a strong, healthy colony. Diseases like American and European fowl brood can be devastating to a hive. But with regular inspections, you can spot the signs early and take action. If you suspect your bees are sick, it's crucial to consult with a local beekeeping expert or your area's agricultural extension service. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Keeping your hive clean, ensuring it's well ventilated, and maintaining a strong, healthy colony can all help to prevent disease. With regular inspections, you're sure to have a healthy hive. But what about the sweet reward? Let's talk honey. When your hive is strong, it's time for the sweetest part, honey harvesting. Now the key here is to be gentle and patient. You want to use a bee brush or a leaf blower to gently remove bees from the frames. Then uncap the honeycomb using a heated knife or an uncapping roller. Spin the frames in a honey extractor to extract the honey without damaging the combs. After the sweet harvest, it's time to tuck the bees in for winter. Start by assessing the hive's health and honey stores. A strong colony needs about 60 to 90 pounds of honey to survive the cold months. If they're short, feed them sugar syrup or fondant. Insulate the hive well to keep the bees cozy. Reduce the hive entrances to prevent drafts and deter pests. Remember, beekeeping doesn't stop at honey harvesting. It's a cycle that continues through all seasons. Beekeeping is a year-round commitment. Let's explore how to keep learning and improving. Beekeeping is a journey, not a destination. Just like in any other field, continuous learning is the key to success in beekeeping. The world of bees is ever-evolving, with new discoveries, techniques, and challenges emerging all the time. To keep up with these changes and ensure the well-being of your buzzing buddies, you need to stay informed about the latest advancements in beekeeping practices. There's a whole hive of knowledge out there waiting to be explored. Attending workshops can provide hands-on learning experiences, while joining beekeeping associations can connect you with a community of like-minded individuals who share your passion. Networking with experienced beekeepers can also be an invaluable source of wisdom, allowing you to learn from their triumphs and trials. 
In this wonderful world of beekeeping, there's always something new to learn, a new mystery to unravel, a new challenge to overcome. So keep learning, keep growing, and keep buzzing along. Remember, beekeeping requires ongoing attention and care. Happy beekeeping. If you like this video, then make sure to also watch these videos for more DIY farming lessons and advice.